Grade 6 Math number 8.5, Problem Solving Using Tree Diagrams. When we've done word problems in the past, we've chosen a strategy, and this time we're going to draw a diagram. A tree diagram is a way of displaying all the possible outcomes of an experiment. I've got my little spinner here with my hand, and I spun it one time, and the first time I spun it, it landed on green. Now, if I spin it two times, what do you think the next color will be? Oh, it landed on green again. So it went from green to green. So we went down this path. So this is a tree diagram. Okay? What do you think is going to happen when I spin it again? Look at that. It landed on green. What are the odds of that happening, huh? So there was four possible outcomes when I spun it then. Now there's 16 possible outcomes. It went from 4 to 16. The 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16, see? So that's a tree diagram. It shows all the possibilities coming down, see? And each time it has more branches, it squares, all right? So when a tree diagram has one action, it's got one stage. This is one stage. When it has two actions, it's called two stages, see? All right. A delicatessen sells pre-made sandwiches. Each sandwich has one type of bread, one type of meat, and one type of cheese. Here's the menu. So a sandwich could be, you know, white bread with ham with cheddar, or it could be white bread with turkey with cheddar. So Emma grabbed a random sandwich. What's the probability that she chose a ham and cheddar on wheat? Well, here's all the white possibilities, and here's all the wheat possibilities. Ham with cheddar, ham with Swiss, turkey with cheddar, turkey with Swiss. These are all the possibilities. There's six here for white bread and six here for wheat bread. She had a one out of a 12 chance because there's six possibilities of getting the wheat, ham, and cheddar. See? It was a one out of 12. It's 8.75, so it's approximately a 9% chance. See? Now, there's a very famous tree diagram called Pascal's Triangle. And it goes like this. You start with a 1, and then you say, what is 1 plus 1? 1 plus 1 equals 2. See? And you say, what is this 1 plus this 2? And it equals 3. See? And then this 2 plus this 1 equals that 3. See how it's coming down? This 1 and this 3 equal 4. This 3 and this 3 equal 6. This 3 and this 1 equals that 4. Look at This 4 and this 6 equals that 10. This 10 and this 10 equals that 20. See? This 20 and this 15, there'd be a 35 here, wouldn't there? And that's how his triangle goes. It slowly trickles down and it adds like that. Well, Pascal was a French mathematician, physicist, inventor, writer, and Christian philosopher. And he lived in the 1600s. But other mathematicians studied this centuries before him in India, Iran, China, Germany, and Italy. But they still named it after Pascal. So that is a tree diagram. That's how you use it. If you have a word problem and you need to figure out the chance of something, make yourself a tree diagram and then slowly make the branches going across. Count how many branches there are and then you know that it's a one out of that many branches chance. See? Not very hard at all. You could do this, okay? We're going to be going on to algebra next. I hope to see you there. Bye.